Oh, that looks like a Chinook. Oh yeah, that looks like a Chinook. What's going on everybody welcome back to the channel right now it's uh, summertime kind of getting late in the summer and uh, going to go out to the river and do some trout fishing I haven't done that in quite some time lately it's uh, just been lake fishing or not fishing at all and uh, just busy with work and whatnot so today I'll be running my float setup and we'll see what today brings goal well, number one is to catch a fish and that's all that's really it just go out Maybe catch some fish, hopefully, and have some fun. Stay tuned. I am seeing some fish activity. Right there. Fish has all obviously seen me already. Unfortunately, these fish look big, man. I fall four pound leader on, might not be enough. Oh, that looks like a shit. Oh, yeah, that looks like a Chinook. Crazy. That looks like a Chinook. Oh. What is this? First fish of the day. wet our hands it's a rainbow trout par okay let's let it go there he goes skunk off the board just caught a rainbow trout and now I'm going to tie on a fly to see if uh, that will help entice the bigger fish. Fish. Oh. There's fish there. I see movement. Big fish. Oh, I wish I had a bigger leader or stronger leader. I don't do this very often but um, if you like my content please like and subscribe I'm mentioning this because I really want to get to 500 subscribers uh, at the moment that this is shot so help a brother out I'm gonna tie on a worm see if that'll help Uh, fish 
Fischerei. What do we have? Sucker. Hmm. Uh, sucker on, guys. Not the prettiest of fish, but a fish nonetheless. A sucker. Okay, going to release this sucker now. Not gonna keep any fish today. At least we're not skunk so far. Rainbow trout and uh, sucker. There it goes. Third fish of the day. A little rainbow, a little rainbow. There it goes. Fish, small one. Let's wet our hands, see what we got. Very pretty little rainbow. I think it's a rainbow. Hard to tell when they're this size. There it goes. So far, just some bug bites and a few rainbows and a sucker. Let's see what else we can catch. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby rainbow. <sighs> Got a few red ant bites on my leg, on my on my neck, this fishing YouTube stuff is, is not easy.
Ants are dropping from the trees, climbing into my waders and biting my legs. I'm also getting bites all over my arms and my neck. Ugh, these fire ants. Maybe the smallest of the bunch. Yeah. I wonder if it's a rainbow. It's a brown, I think. A little brown. <sighs> okay, nice little brown. Nice brown trout here. It? It's a brown. Just brown. I think it's a brown. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's a beauty, buddy. Thanks, bro. Uh, no I appreciate problem. that. No problem. Here we go. Let this guy go. Yeah, nice fish, man. So after breaking off a few salmon, um, catching a bunch of rainbow trouts and a uh, sucker, landed a pretty nice brown trout. So I'm gonna try to see if I can catch the salmon. Fish. Got a fish on. Fish off. That about concludes today's video. Today um, I set a modest goal of just catching some fish. And uh, yes, I would say a uh, goal of catching fish was successful. Ended up catching a white sucker, um, some rainbow trouts, and a nice brown trout. I hooked into and lost many um, salmon. I didn't expect the salmon to be in the rivers. So I wasn't really well prepared. I only had six pound leader. If I was fishing for salmon, I would have something a lot stronger. So I lost pretty much all of the salmon that I hooked into. Uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting out of here because uh, I'm getting covered in bug bites. Fire ant stings can potentially be dangerous because some people develop allergic reactions to them. I got bitten quite a lot and all of them welted up, got swollen, and uh, it was very, very itchy all over my body, especially near the armpit area. For me, I needed to take a couple of Benadryls for things to calm down. And in severe cases, people even need hospitalization because they go through an anaphylactic reaction and the airway gets compromised and they have difficulty breathing. Those people will require hospitalization, possibly get some steroid treatment, um, you know, consult your doctor if you get these bites, okay? This is just what I did personally to get through this, but man, what a tough, tough experience. And uh... so when you're out there, just really be careful. Things that you can do to prevent fire ants from attacking you is, of course, don't go to those areas and uh, wear very protective clothing. Uh, the red ant bites 
is very, very aggressive today and I can't take it anymore. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to bring you more stuff in the not too distant future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.